All right, folks, we're at the bee yard here. I went ahead and purchased some queen bees from California, and I made some splits. So we'll see how those splits are doing. I did this probably about three weeks ago. I put this tarp down because this place that I keep bees is a no spray farm. They don't use any spray materials, any weed killers or, or insecticides. So uh, to keep to, with the weeds down around the hives, I put this plastic tarp down and it's working out quite well. You can see some nectar they brought in. There we go. That's what I want to see. I got some brood, cat brood. The brown stuff that you see there, that's larvae underneath of uh, the brown cappings. That's a baby bee going to be born. You can see eggs in this one. I don't know if you can see that close or not. But in that zone there, you can, you can see some larvae uh, forming. Looks like little grub worms. So I want to see. Good. These are doing real well. These splits. 
I bought three queens. I split three of these uh, deeps off of hives over at my house. I brought them over to here and I made three hives. I'm going to be doing the same next week. I'm getting 20 queens in from Georgia and I'll be doing the same. I'm happy with that. Good. Okay. There's no reason to go any further. Put the hive back just like I found it. I think what I'm going to do is take his entrance reducer off. Give them bees more of a more of a chance to go in and out. Not sure about this one yet. Until I get in there. You can see how tight these lids are. The bees glue them down with a product called propolis. Propolis comes from saps of trees that the bees bring in. So I puff a little smoke in underneath. Wait a few minutes to calm them down. There you go. Some brood, some drone brood. I don't like this frame. I can't do anything about it now. Make a note. I'll bring a new frame. Get rid of this one. You can see these young frames here, these new ones. You can see they started to draw out the wax see the wax in here this is plastic foundation this is starter foundation
425 this was added it's at the 11th 12th now Nice, nice and strong hive there. These are some dead hives that died over the winter. You can see down here. So what I think I'm going to do is take one of these.
the strong hive the one that uh, I added a queen to a few weeks ago I think I'm gonna dump another deep on top let the queen lay eggs in this in this yellow one here and when this gets full I can take it off and, and put a queen to it and make another hive yeah it's a nice strong hive here the bees will work the way up in here and start uh, the queen will start laying eggs Put a notation on here. Today is five one two added, and it was empty. So I keep track. This hive here, it's a real strong hive. I'm gonna tech check this one out. When it looks like this, I like to take advantage of them. You can see all those bees down the bottom. I like to take advantage of it, the situation and possibly put another deep on there because I got all these available deeps from the, the dead outs over the winter. Always check the smoke to see how hot it is. Beautiful. There's a lot of bees in there. All right, so getting dark out I don't want to agitate these bees I don't have a veil on beautiful don't want to go anymore it's fine I'm gonna add an empty on here Added five one two
Yeah, not ready yet. about making bees with this harsh winter I lost 50% of my hives Look at that. Let me go ahead. I imagine these are all splittable. I'm going to put a deep on this baby. See what it looks like when they're dead? 